Hey guys, we got so much <laughs> turned on right now. I hope you can hear me. This is the baby mohair, the kid mohair from Cheryl. And what I'm doing is the hottest water that I can get to come out of the tap, that's how hot it is. This has a little bit of straw in it, but straw isn't as bad as other things, so I'm not gonna worry about it. So a little bit of dish soap in here. Gonna hot, 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 hot water. Submerge it, and I'm gonna let it sit for just a bit. The, the key with mohair to keep it from be, uh, being greasy is you can't let it cool down at all. It had the rinse water has to be as hot as the wash water, which is the case with wool too. You can't have big temperature swings, but on this one, you cannot leave the mohair sitting in water to cool. Whereas with wool, you can. Wool, you can rinse it and then just leave it in cold water for as long as you wanted to. Mohair, as soon as you have it rinsed, you need to take it out of the water and let it drip and get all that because the, the grease remains suspended and will settle back onto your fiber if you don't get it rinsed good. So that is really hot. This is the last one that I did. It's a white one, so it's in its own rinse water now. And what I do is I do the wash water. I drain the fleece into this so that the dirty water is going back into the dirty water. And once it's drained, I do it quickly because I don't want it to cool down. I put it into the rinse water, which this is my last batch, so that's why there's fleece in both of them is because I'm finished. This one is just gonna come out and be drained and finished. So I take the, the washing fleece, put it in this, let it drain for a second, put it in the already full sink of hot water, and then I'm gonna let it sit while the water still stays hot. And then I'm gonna switch this into this one, take what's been rinsed, and I'll put it into here. And I'm trying to do two rinses on everything. So you can see how dirty that water is. I'm gonna do one more rinse on that. So I'll take this, let it drain in here, and then I drain it in here for its final drain, and then I put it on a rack, the rack, and let it dry completely. Okay, this is the final rinse. And um, I just wanted to remind you guys, always, always, always put these in the bottom of all of your drains whenever you wash any kind of fiber because otherwise it's going to get into your sink and it's amazing just how much this catches. I get three handfuls out of each small sink that ca gets caught in here so you really don't want any fiber of any kind getting down that sink. They make these for each size of your sinks. I just went and got a three pack that had varying sizes and it works really well for me. And that is it. <laughs>